Okay, so here we are now for example 4 in Post Rock Essentials 2. The idea we'll be exploring, we'll be using thirds as well as some 3 and 4 note chord voicings and embellishments. Just some notes on the picking technique. I like to use a hybrid picking technique whereby I'll use the pick on the third string and the middle finger to pluck the higher string. And this is for the first uh, few bars of the piece. Uh, later on I will be just using the pick in some areas, but uh, I'll discuss those as we go anyway, but just to let you know and you can keep an eye on the picking hand technique here. Okay, so to begin with we're going to position our middle and third finger. And we're going to be at the third fret and the fourth fret there. And what we're going to do is we're going to play that, then bar the first finger at the second fret on the second and third string. Return. So it might be an idea just to bar that finger down to begin with, and that way then you don't have to worry about doing it. So, so far we'll get We're then going to move that shape up a whole step, so one move, two moves, and that should position ourselves now at the 5th fret and the 6th fret. To finish off the bar then, what I would do, it may be a little trickier to begin with, but it's definitely more efficient in the long term, is to use the pinky finger to bar over the 7th fret on the 2nd and 3rd string. Now the good thing about doing this is, if you leave your middle and third finger down from the previous voicing, you can just simply take the fourth finger off then and return to it. And from that point then we're going to move down back to where we were at the third and the fourth fret. Then the barred position at the second fret, and then return back to the third and fourth fret. So I'm going to play bars 1 and 2 slowly. One more time. So in bar 3 we're going to be using some of those, well one of those voicings anyway that we used in the previous two bars which is actually where we just finished. What we're basically doing here is building on that voicing and turning it into a major 7 voicing. But we're going to do it a bit differently because we're going to separate out and start with just the bottom or root note, then the 3rd and the 2nd string, then the 2nd and the 1st string returning to the 3rd and 2nd string, before finishing on the 4th and the 3rd string. And a bit of that's going to continue into the next bar actually, so we return to the 3rd and the 2nd string, and then the 2nd and the 1st string. So I'm just going to play all that through once so you can see that in action. Okay, so to finish things off then, in that bar we're going to move into the 5th position. This is just a major voicing with the open 1st string. And uh, it looks like that. So we've got 5th fret 2nd string, 6th fret 3rd, 7th fret 5th, sorry 4th string. And we're just going to pick through from 4th to 3rd to 1st to 2nd. So from the previous part of the bar, where you were like this, You'll just may need to make that transition fairly quickly. So uh, let's have a look at those two bars in action. That'll be the third and fourth bar. So 
What I would recommend to do there, and you might have noticed it, is that I positioned the third and middle finger down first, and then as I went through, I can put that first finger down just at the end there. 